Hello everyone and welcome to PSGL Season 19 I believe It's race 1 I'm in the Mercedes Maxi Luca is my teammate And this is qualifying I'm just going to take you through my lap Coming through into turn 1 now I felt like I could really get the car turned in um, Really aggressively and you can see By the way I'm sort of treating the car I'm very I was very confident around here um, I've done a lot of practice with other guys who are racing in here and I did some with uh, Max just me and him so um, I felt like I had to set up right it's just a matter of nailing the lap and you can see we're barely up on pole time at the minute so at the moment it's going pretty well I do believe that time I set was on the supers so there's a lot of time to improve from from a 22-1 maybe low 21s even high 20s is what I've seen a few people do so I knew I had to nail the lap you can see coming through this fast left right very very easy to get invalid but luckily we nailed it really well I've been pretty much the best I've ever done it coming to the third sector now all about traction here got a little bit wide but not costing me too much time clip the curb on the fast right hander which I was actually struggling with at the start of the week but I managed to sort of set up out and actually nail the third sector and that fast left hander but we come now to the start finish line is it going to get us pole it does a 21 free and that is pole at the minute there are other people on a lap so we'll see if we do indeed finish qualifying in pole position it would be a great start I just, yeah, I just retired straight away I know I knew I wasn't going to improve on that time I had time to go for one more run but I just thought just retire I'll see what happens but you can see now we're gonna so skip no, to the end of qualifying you see Big C actually man. got us at the end he managed to do a 21 1 so not actually that much difference, you can see I'm just comparing lap times and I do actually lose all my time in sector 3. So again, sector 3 being the main cause of the issue, yeah. but nevertheless P2 for the so season 19 debut race, now, I will take chair. that. There are a lot of people Thinking, who, uh, who who done low, low 20s, not low 20s, sorry, high 20s, so oh my God, he's 40. <laughs> again, I'll take P2 with a 21. <laughs> Three, I set, I do believe. So yeah, we're going to skip now no to know. the race highlights. You can see lining up with Big C now, and it's three, four, five red lights, and it's lights out. And initially, Big C got a very good start, but you can see he's back in squirming. Obviously, going very defensive off the start. and see Greeny around my outside, so I couldn't really do anything into turn one. You can see clipping Big C, and we spin now. Obviously that's my fault, I'm not going to sit there and discuss oh, you know, what happened, I, I just clipped his rear and I felt like the car yeah, been binned, mate. was veering to be more to the right so I turned right. left but well, we I turned way too quick pace. and I did indeed lose the back end, you can see my teammate Max also had an incident and he's actually further back than us so we've actually had it easier than him but nonetheless we're not going to give up there, we're going to push on and see if we can catch the field ahead, I knew I had the pace too, it's just you know, obviously now I've got Are to prove my worth and do what I've been saying, which is, you know, catch everyone up and see what I can do. But you can see already, we're actually catching people already. You can see Joel retires from the race. So that's really one position. You can see us already catching Ugi, who I believed pitted. But we're going to skip now to lap three, right behind this three-man train. Liquor at the back of it. That's a really bad exit. He is on the super soft, so I should make the move stick around his outside and I do indeed stick it around his outside as you can see Lordy Boy and Jamie they're fighting as well Lordy goes wide and initially I just had nowhere to go there so Lickle could have hung it around my outside and really been a problem but luckily he sort of hung back and uh, saw the two ahead fighting but we're actually going to stay on board with this lap um, just to sort of give people an idea of um, racing sort of wheel, not wheel to wheel but racing in close quarters around Australia how tight it really is because it is a tight track people may look at it and go well it's not but you can't overtake in sector one apart from turn one maybe turn three other than that you can't really overtake anywhere else you can see I'm sort of lifting off through the fast left right but we actually get a really good run on Lordy Boy and I knew that if I wanted to make up position I'd have to make the move now and we do go down his inside he does defend it but us being very aggressive and I feel like I made the move stick down, Lord, uh, Lordy actually goes wide. So that's unfortunate for him, and I do believe Lickle made the move as well, so fair play to him for sort of sniping that move. But we do now skip to lap 9, 
As you can see, sort of catching to Jamie, but just wasn't able to close the gap because the ultras did start to go off. So we do pit for a one and only pit stop. And while I am in the pits, I just want to say that the last stream I did on FIFA uh, for Champions, I just want to say again, thank you, thank you to those no, that did yeah. pop on by. I do really appreciate everyone that did comment, you know, liked, even just weren't there, just sort of watched, the, watched me bottle gold when I do appreciate it. But coming back out the pits, we do come out in. 11th place and I do believe in the next couple laps uh, Skeven does retire which is yeah. unfortunate but we do come out just ahead of JD as well which well, is a very good thing as well because I didn't really <laughs> want to lose time behind him as well but you can see lap 16 now so we've actually gained positions because I do believe some guys were going from a very aggressive two stop so it looks like me and Ash managed to uh, go up a few positions but you can see right right behind Ash now he does go defensive but sort of leaves the door open so I'm, I dive down his inside really tight leaving him just enough space but we do get the move done pretty aggressive but I needed the move done in order for me to uh, move out the position and potentially move on and catch the guys in front but sort of a tough ask for me but you can see lap 29 we're actually in fourth place so I do believe guys in front of us had to pit again, I do believe Pine was one of them, you can see he's been chasing us down since lap 25 or 26 but he just wasn't able to get close enough and you can see Big C is about to come across the line and win the first race, a pretty easy win for him, had nothing to do just sort of stormed it, so fair play to him we're going to come home in fourth place so you know, considering we spun at the start and we were basically last been a very good recovery drive and you know made up for my mistake but I feel like I could have definitely uh, a full big C for the win especially here at Australia a track where I felt very confident in my car to set up everything really but my mistake cost me that you can see the final results there us getting P4 big C getting a win and Jack at the AMS completing the podium so fair play to them uh, you see Max then 11th I do believe he had an incident with little blocks at the end which cost him getting into the points but that will be the end of the video I do believe the next video you are going to see for me is round two of PSGL which happened tonight so i want to get that done now get this out maybe get round two out tomorrow so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you for round two in psgl thank you and goodbye